The way that I've started talking about time mastery is it's a lot like an hourglass. If we oversimplify it, I want us to think of an upside down triangle with three layers. And the reason we think of it like this is because that first phase is super broad. It's the organized phase where we take everything in. And I typically recommend we look at it through the lens of how many hours do you have in a week? I need to organize that personally and professionally. Let me get everything organized. Well, what's important for you may not be what's important for me. So that organized stage is really looking at the context that we live in. That context allows us to go to the next stage of let me prioritize the right things. Prioritization of everything. How do I get the right things done? How do I make sure I'm adding more in value than I'm taking in return? Work, personal, friends, community, etc. So once I prioritize what's going on through the proper function, then that lets me actually take action. It lets me execute, it lets me get things done, but we're doing the right things. And that's what most people in my experience don't necessarily know how to do the right things because they're just firefighting. We wanna make sure that we're proactively getting things done, not reactively. That's the upside down triangle. Now let's look at it on the converse. Let's look at a regular size triangle. Three more phases. Once I've done the first phase of organize, second phase, prioritize, third phase, execute, then I get to start over and I get to look at continuous improvement. I wanna be better tomorrow than I was today. And how do I do that? Well, the first thing I need to do, presuming that I'm taking the right action, is I'm optimizing. So that next phase is optimization. So now we're doing the right things more effectively, which then once I've optimized, again, personal life, professional life, then that lets me go to the next phase. The next phase is multiply. I need to make that multiplicative. Can I do it on every level? Can I be getting better each day? The answer is yes, but why don't we? If we're honest, we live in the Disneyland of the world, at least in North America where things are pretty comfortable. I mean, when's the last time you had marketing sent your way that said, be less comfortable, take the harder route? No, that's not the case. We, we hear, eat tastier foods, have the best coffee drink you can that tastes like ice cream, sleep the best. Those things aren't necessarily bad in and of themselves, but what happens is it starts to make us comfortable. So I can't multiply my optimization personally and professionally because each day I'm a little bit more comfortable. What happens if you're super comfortable all the time? You probably don't push it. So once we can start to self-correct and multiply our optimization, then we can do what the world would say is very, very sexy. And that is maximize. Then I can go be the best father, the best husband, the best coworker, the best community member. And so that's why we really look at this pyramid of first I optimize, then I multiply, and then I go ahead and I maximize because I've been effective, I've been efficient, and now I'm being excellent. And that is a replicable process, and that lets us have continuous improvement.